The Davis Cup is the most important contest for national teams in men's tennis. Here you see Roger Federer and team member Stanislas Favrinka sweating it out at the last Davis Cup tie in Switzerland. This year the two will be joined by Stefan Boli and Marco Cudinelli. They'll play the Portuguese in five matches. There are no ATP points to be gleaned, so what's in it for them? To play for your country. It's like in football or in rugby or I, I don't know what. It's to have the Swiss cross on your breast. It's important that they can also show in Switzerland how good they play, that they play for the national team, for the emotion. It's also for the future, not bad. They're both Swiss, they will continue living in this country, so I think they will be also good ambassadors for their own future. For the first time in more than 50 years, the Davis Cup is being held in the Swiss capital, Bern, a medieval city and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mayor Alexander Chepat explained why the organizers chose the venue. I think Bern is one of the most beautiful cities. Then Bern is a very sportive city, so sport has a big success here. So also Davis Cup knows there will be a lot of people being interested in the games. The Bern Arena, where spectators normally stand to watch ice hockey, is being fitted out with seats for this much less rough-and-tumble sport. The Swiss have never actually won the cup, but now they have a good chance. Yeah, normally if you play at home and if you have two top players like uh, Roger and Stan, you're favourite. But uh, first of all you have to play and then uh, we'll see. As the finishing touches are put to the stadium, the search continues for the next generation of top players. Swiss Tennis, the country's tennis association, works together with 10 sports academies and schools to promote young talent. So we have every year selections where we see um, the juniors from all over Switzerland and when we see um, the potential they have, they get selected into the junior teams and um, from then on they will be within the Swiss tennis structure. But tennis professionals doubt whether they'll ever find a player to match the calibre of 16-time Grand Slam champion Roger Federer.